the winter storm hit the Chetwind area the hardest overnight, with snowfall accumulations around 20 centimeters. But the entire region is experiencing heavy snowfall as another winter storm passes through, with some areas experiencing blowing snow, while others are seeing freezing rain. And we've got a real mixed bag of conditions throughout the uh, south piece and conditions are changing rather rapidly. So the crews are out there, um, the, uh, they're applying sand on the road, they're plowing, so they're uh, being as aggressive with the storm as we can be and uh, also trying to uh, adapt to the changing conditions as they change throughout the day. Environment Canada is predicting another 20 to 30 centimeters of snowfall in the region by tomorrow afternoon, with the largest accumulation forecasted near the Hudson Hope area. CRS road crews have been working around the clock to plow and sand highways, starting with priority roads first, and they are urging motorists to check the grade of their winter tires and make sure they have a full tank of gas before traveling on the highways and to drive with caution as the conditions change. Leave enough room between yourself and others when you're traveling so that uh, you've got plenty of time to stop and to see what's happening up in front of you. Um, it's just more common sense things than anything else is, you know, give yourself plenty of time when you have to get somewhere so that you've got extra time to, to arrive in case there are any problems on the road. Road temperatures are currently too cold for salt to be effective, so CRS trucks are applying sand to slippery sections along the highway. Crews are also reminding motorists to give them enough space to do their job safely. Uh, be prepared to give them a plenty of room. Never pass a plow truck on the right, because if they have the plow down and you try to pass on the right, you have the risk of either running into their plow or being completely covered with snow if they're, when they uh, are plowing the snow. Brendan Miller, CJDC-TV News, Fort St. John.